Hello everybody, my name is Brayden Hopkins. I am a Linode developer advocate. And what we are gonna be doing in this video is showing you probably one of the easiest and best ways to spin up your very own modern website. And this right here is the Grav website, Build Faster Websites. Grav is a modern open source flat file CMS, and boy does it have a whole bunch of different features that we're gonna be checking out in this video. It uses Markdown for creating content. You have a bunch of one-click installs for various themes and plugins, great performance, multi-language support. But instead of going through here, let's go through it in the actual application. Right here, I'm on the Linode Create page, and to go ahead and spin this up, all we're gonna to need to do is head over to the Marketplace. I'm gonna give it a quick search for grab. Here it is, let's select that. And of course this one click installer will go ahead and get our SSL certificates lined up. I'm gonna create our limited pseudo user. I'm gonna stick with this password. And here's our Linode API token. Now I'm actually gonna use this real quick. So let's go over here to API tokens, and I'm gonna go ahead and generate one. So to generate this, I'm just gonna give it a name, grab one, give it full read and write, and I'm gonna create this token. We're gonna to copy this, and I saved it. Now, if you don't know, this is connected to the Linode domain name manager. This is the domain name I'm gonna be using, and essentially what this is going to do is create our A records for us and allow us to get an SSL certificate automatically. So I'm gonna scroll down here and paste this in right where it asks for the API token. For this, our subdomain, we're just gonna call this grab, or you can call it blog, or really whatever you need here. And then we're gonna do our full domain, which for me, it's hopkey.net. Ubuntu 20.04 LTS will be fine. We're gonna pick our region. Generally, I'm gonna pick a server closest to me or close to my target audience. So I'm gonna go US West. And for just to this service, the shared CPU Nanode $5 a month plan is going to be perfectly fine, and we could always upgrade further as our website demands it. So for the label, I'm just going to call this the domain, so grav.hopkey.net, and then give ourselves a pretty decent root password. There we go, and I do always recommend setting up SSH keys for extra security, but we're going to go ahead and skip that for now. Backups are an option here if you do need that but let's go ahead and create our Linode. Now, while it's creating, we could always launch the Lish console to get a kind of live view of what it is doing, which with these one-click install scripts, it really is doing a lot. It's setting literally everything up for us, as we can see here. You can see it's setting up a PHP right now, setting up Apache and MySQL servers. Really, this is saving us a whole bunch of time because if we go over to this Grav website here, they have a whole bunch of documentation that I do recommend you check out if you are gonna be using this full time because there's no way that we're be able to cover everything in this video but for installation you can see a lot of the stuff that you would have to do without using the one click installer which by the way if you don't want to use the one click installer running through this installation guide it should also work completely fine but do go through this for example here under content there's a lot of different things such as headers formats page collections page linking image linking media and all of these give you a good rundown of what the site can handle and what it can offer for you. So with that, let's check up on our Lish console, see what's going on. Looks like it's wrapping up, installing the last little bit of packages. And cool, there we go. We can see congratulations, your certificate is now installed. So that will work fine. And when everything's done, it's gonna be prompting you to log in. Now there's really not anything we're gonna to need to do in CLI for this as it went ahead and set everything up for us. But I'm gonna go over to this tab here and type in the domain we set up, which is grav.hopkey.net, hit enter. And then it's gonna take us to our admin setup page. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out real quick. So you give yourself a username, your email, your password, full name, and then you give yourself a title. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and click create user. And it looks like I'm gonna to have to go with a, a slightly stronger password and then create user. And then that's gonna take us to our graph dashboard. Of course, they have a premium option. So you can go ahead and check that out if you'd like to. I'm gonna close that out for now. And this is our dashboard. Here we have maintenance, so we can see we're fully updated. We have no backups. We have our page view statistics, which is very nice that this is an option. Kind of built-in analytics, but as you'll see in a minute, they do have other analytics options. We scroll down, we have some notifications, which is basically a lot of things when it comes to uh, various updates and upgrades. They have a news feed here, and then we have our latest page updates. You can see three minutes ago is the last update because that's when they actually installed. And that's just the admin dashboard. So if I go ahead and grab this domain name and show you what the default website looks like, so let's paste it in there, you can see this is default. The default itself looks clean, especially if you just want to use this to build, let's say, documentation 
or maybe your application or whatever it is you happen to be doing. Overall, this looks very nice and they have typography over here. So it kind of gives you a rundown of basic markdown, which is what the site's going to be using. And to actually edit these pages, what we could do is head over to dashboard, go to pages here, and then you'll see the pages we have available. We have root, home and typography. So for example, if I wanted to edit the home page, all I would do is give that a click and then I have this nice uh, rich text editor here using Markdown. Here I could change the name, the title, obviously change all the content. If I go over to options, we have some publishing options. This is the home page, so it's not really gonna need a date and a lot of this stuff. If we go over to advanced, we could change the folder name, which is the page name. We could change the template of the page, which I'll show you more when we create a new page. You change the sorting, some prefixes we have some overrides here so within the menu you can override and change this and we have a lot of different settings and options here including admin specific overrides and route overrides and then we have some security options including page access and permissions and if you want a little bit more you could always go expert mode which this will allow you to edit the content this way but for me i'm going to stick with normal go back to content and just to show you a quick example of how easy it is to uh, let's say drop an image onto our home page Let's put an image right here under this uh, 404 example. And to do that, all we need to do, let's say we want it right here, we just enter, and then let's drop a file here. For example, I have this image from a different project. It was a true NAS thing. So now you can see we have page media, and then all we want to do is go ahead and click right here, which will insert it into our page using Markdown. And of course we can view, get some uh, metadata information and delete it if we need to. So from there, all we would need to do is click on save, go to our homepage, give it a refresh, and then you can see the image there. So it's really easy to go ahead and edit pages and add media as you'd need to, but let's say we want to create a new page. So we can go under pages, go to add, add a page, or the page title, we could call this something like blog. We have templates here. So for example, I could click the blog template, make it visible, yes, and then continue. And for now, if I go ahead and just click save, it's gonna be an empty page, but if I refresh this, we're gonna see blog has been added here in our menu and it is uh, currently empty. So then you could go to blog and you could add some options. So welcome, such as welcome to our blog. And within this template, we will have some additional stuff such as blog config here. So we have hero classes, some configuration, content definitions. And if I go over to the documentation, this again is a real good place to learn how to use some of these features. So if I just search blog, we have a bunch of options, for example, under cookbook tutorials, build a blog, this will run through how you would want to do this and set it up. So for now, let's go back over here, go to our pages. I'm gonna go to continue. And of course we have accounts. So if we wanted to create more accounts, we could here as well as groups. And then we have specific uh, configuration for this option. Right now I'm the only user, but if I wanted to add a user, for example, I would just click on add, fill out all the proper information and access level is important. So if you wanted somebody who just has access to maybe creating new pages and some other basic stuff, we'd wanna go down here under pages, create, read, and then maybe update. And maybe you want get to give them access to some site statistics and give them access to reading and listing user accounts. And that's how you would go about setting custom permissions for additional users. Now they also have a lot of different plugins that you could go ahead and add. So if we go over to plugins, you can see some of the installed ones. We have our admin panel, email, error, flex objects, and a bunch more. But if we go add, you can see truly how many there are available. If I go ahead and scroll down, you can see it's just going to keep on going. And you have things such as file browsers, file content. You have Google Analytics here that you can integrate directly through a plugin. Google Maps, Google Charts, you have HTT authentication. And of course, they're gonna have some of their premium plugins such as Instagram feed here and Lightbox Gallery. There's really a whole lot to choose from and a whole bunch of different ways to expand the options of your website. For example, if I am to click on this one right here, this is Nextcloud allowing you to automatically sync the backups from Grav to Nextcloud. You could just add it here by clicking install plugin, continue. And you can see dependencies installed, install successful, and it's really as easy as that. And then you could go ahead and go to the GitHub to get some more information on installing and actually using the plugin. But you can see here where the actual configuration is and how you're gonna want to uh, edit and work that. So going back, another thing that is really nice about Grav is how easy it is to manage themes. So this is the default theme. If we give this a click, that we'll have some additional settings that are theme specific such as your custom logo, custom mobile logo, 
you have fixed header, animation styles, dark styles. So if I enable dark style, show you what this kind of looks like before, we save this and then refresh our page. You can see it made this top dark over here. And there are a lot more options such as where your blog default is. You have your sticky footers and a few more. But if we go back to themes, and here we could click on add and it populates with a whole bunch of different options for themes. So I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom here just to show you how much you got. And these are just the ones that are incorporated automatically. If you actually go to tools here, direct install, you could use this page to install zips and custom themes, plugins, things like that. But I'm going to go back to our themes and just pick one out real quick. So for example, this one right here looks rather nice. Let's give this a click. We can open up that GitHub page to go ahead and check it out. What it does look like just a simple blog page. If I wanted to install it, all I would need to do is click on install theme, continue. And now the theme's installed. So if I go to my themes page, you're going to see our default right here as well as the new one. So we would just go ahead and click on activate continue and now the theme has successfully changed so we can head over to our main website give it a refresh and we haven't really customized the theme so we're not going to see it and it's a full extent but you can see that the theme has changed and there's some nice animations and whatnot associated with it and at least with this theme there's not very many options we have drop down in nav bar enabled or disabled and of course different themes will have different options you go ahead and check them out try them out have a good time so you briefly saw the tools page there is a lot going on here we have our backup statistics and here's how you go ahead and configure those we have our scheduler which will allow you to do a cache purging and various other um, scheduling for backups we have our logs that you can access right here. We have our full reports. So you can see we have three errors that we might want to go ahead and take a look at, but for the most part, everything else seems to be good. And then like we saw, we have that direct install. Last but not least, configuration. There is truly a lot in here to go ahead and manipulate, edit to your liking. So under system, you have languages, HTTP headers, you could configure markdown so you can enable markdown extra if you'd like to. And all these settings have the little question mark. So you kind of hover over and see exactly what is going on. And then we have options for site, metadata, redirects, page summary, things like that. We have our media options. So the allowed formats, you can remove, change those as you need to. And of course we have some security settings some general information about our installation. So some PHP stuff, Apache handlers, and truly a lot of information to go ahead and help us debug or fix issues. But yeah, overall, this is a really easy platform to use, really easy to install. You can see I have now 19 page views as I've been constantly uh, refreshing and trying to see these changes. Overall, Grav is just super easy to use, super easy to set up. It's very expandable. It is a wonderful option if you're looking to host a website today. Uh, with all that, again, there's going to be a link down below to that $100 60-day credit, so you could try this out right now if you would like to. And I do recommend you subscribe and you ring that bell to this channel because there is a ton of great cloud computing content, tutorials, guides that you're going to want to check out. With all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.